So it's possible some of these patrol vehicles will be able to hit the streets at some point today. Houston police say they are investigating this incident, but so far they've not identified any suspects or any motive. Anyone with information is encouraged to call HPD or Houston Crime Stoppers. For now in downtown Houston, Stephen Gowen, KHOU, 11 News. Let's hope they get their person or people soon. Stephen, thank you. This evening is the first night IMPD will start enforcing the state's curfew law. It's all in an effort to really address the rise in crime among young Hoosiers. Curfews start in the spring. This is every year around this time. They start with the curfews for the Sun teams because they know oh. they'll be getting out of school soon. Yeah, two, uh, what, we got two months till summer? Yeah, that's about right. About right. It's coming. The curfews are coming. And every kid, Latino kids, Pacific Asian. Islander kids, Asian kids, goddamn fucking um, Glider kids. Glider kids. All these kids got to suffer with this fucking curfew. You a bunch of white kids and you want to have a bonfire at 11 o'clock at night and just have a bunch of y'all sitting around a bonfire mm -hmm. drinking some beer or, or hanging out and shit yeah, playing a fucking banjo. Right. <laughs> we got to understand. Playing, banjo, you might it up. playing a harmonica and shit or playing hockey sack. You right. can't do that shit. You got to understand that you might shoot it up, you know? If you don't find my interrupt. And you want to have a study hall, a late night study hall and shit. The Tigers? Yeah, you can't do that shit. Because the Sun uh, Church fucked it up for everybody. They did. God damn you, you fucking <laughs> Sun Church. Well, to be fair, I, nothing good happens after dark, if you know what I mean. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This evening is the first night IMPD will start enforcing the state's curfew law. It's all in an effort to really address the rise in crime among young Hoosiers. Kids under the age of 15 will need to start heading home soon with an 11 p.m. curfew. Teens between 15 and 17 years old can stay out until 1. Box 59's Michael Van Scoy oh, spoke with... Oh, shit. What? That ain't no fucking curfew. <laughs> Oh shit! This ain't gonna do nothing. They can stay out till one. What the fuck? Mm, that's not bad. Yeah, that ain't bad at all. Eleven p.m. curfew. Teens between fifteen and seventeen years old can stay out until one. Box Fifty Nine's Michael Van Skoyk spoke with parents and community leaders about why they think this is necessary to put an end to the violence. Metro police will start making their rounds across downtown later tonight and into the early morning hours, making sure minors aren't out past curfew. And while police say they don't want to have to take anyone into custody, they will if that's what's necessary. And while those teen offenders could face a status offense, community leaders I spoke with say this is a step worth taking. I think it's for the protection um, of the juveniles. Reverend Charles Harrison with the Indy 10 Point Coalition was appalled to learn seven juveniles were injured in last weekend's mass shooting. He says beginning to enforce a curfew was the right decision and perhaps the only one to be made after such a startling incident. If we can um, get them home in a safe place, then we're less likely to have uh, juveniles who are going to be the victims of violence. IMPD chief. Nah, you, you get them home in a safe place, innocent fucking white women and white men that are just going about their business and black people, regular working class black people that are just going about their business mm -hmm. won't be victimized. Because don't they just well. drop them at their parents' house? That's all they, all they do for the curfew shit? They just take them home? That's all they do? Yeah. Yeah. My my question is, does it actually work? No. No. Because they, they don't, don't they go right back outside. It's all. It's all. Come on, man. Yeah, I mean, like they're not gonna fucking listen to the law. So I I don't understand. Bro, we stayed out to at least three, four until our parents called. Even when our parents called, be like, hey, I'm at my I'm at oh, so and so house. That was about it, and we yeah. kept it pushing. And it's you know, and, and you know, like the kids, even the sun kids, right? Like the ones that are gonna obey this are not the problem. Right. Yeah. Yeah, true. The problem is the shooters and everything, they're going to They don't fuck get caught. Them. Nah, but they don't give a fuck about the curfew. The oh, only yeah. kids that would abide the curfew are good kids. Yeah. The, the bad kids are going to be like, fuck the curfew. Look, they're shooting people. They don't give a fuck that that's illegal. 
They're fucking carjacking people. They don't know the fuck that that's illegal. Why would they fucking care about a curfew? Oh, man. I love our yeah. people. Man. Have uh, juveniles who are going to be the victims of violence. IMPD Chief Chris Bailey says the decision is not just the result of Saturday's shooting. Instead, he says it follows a number of recent incidents involving juveniles from vandalism to harassment and that enough was enough. If parents aren't going to do their job, then we'll step in and do what we have to do to make sure our city is safe and that our children are safe. And some parents like Sierra Scott say they also are relieved police are taking such drastic measures. Yeah, because I have children of my own, teens of my Whoa. own that I'm worried about. They come down here. <laughs> Look at the nigga in the background. Is that a right girl clock, girl? Like, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Real <laughs> niggas don't care about this shit, man. We don't, we, don't, we don't even know about the curfew, to be honest, man. We Yo, be out can, here moving, man. I, I can you imagine if they were being honest and they applied this curfew only to sun kids and fucking on burrito kids? Can you imagine that? How crazy no. that would yeah. be? Come on, man. You already know what will happen if they do that shit. You already know. This right here, though. This um, this woman right here, woman like this. Like, think about it. If their kids out. And a, a cop engages their kid, and their kid resists arrest. Lawsuit. There's some, and there's some um, footage of some conflict, some wrestling match between a cop and her kid. She gonna flip the script immediately and turn BLM overnight. She must. We get hundred K. That's 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 easy hundred K though. You already know what's up, man. These black people are for this. For the moment, but as soon as you gotta understand, gliders are held to a, a standard of perfection. Gliders are held to the standard of perfection. So once one thing goes wrong with this curfew, black people are so fucking wicked that they'll just if you you make one mistake. Oh man, damn man, they hunting our mm -hmm. kids, man. Yep. We call they, them. They, they ain't out here um chasing kids around on the white side of town. Facts. We call them the local yeah. news. We call them everybody. We're gonna make a YouTube channel. Yeah. Saying how and everybody then, then, racist. It, it, no, that's how we do. And then you know, I though, let's be honest, the sun kids are fucking volatile. They'll take it there. Mm-hmm. Turn up on 10 already automatically. So the cops gotta react to that accordingly. It's a tough spot to be in, man. I couldn't be no cop, man. Hardly anybody could be these days. Yeah, I can. I don't understand how niggas do that shit now. I'll tell you though, what we really need. Parents like Sierra Scott. Is you need more black cops like the Scorpion Squad. That shit don't work really anymore, though. I say they also think that you, um, need racist. police for taking such drastic measures. Yeah, because I have children of my own, teens of my own that I'm worried about. They come down here, but. You know, I just think that they should enforce it very heavily, make sure it's enforced seriously and it's done so it can end up all the, end all the violence. Reverend Harrison also says he hopes police enforce the curfew all across the city, not just downtown. If you only focus downtown, then the, the kids are smart then they're going to pick another location, you know, to go to and hang out. Police say they know this effort won't solve the issue by itself, which is why Scott says parents like her also need to take action. If they're 13, 14, 15, they need a chaperone. Your kids need to be with you. With everything going on, know where your kids are. IMPD says patrol cars will make announcements leading up to the hours of the curfew, 30 minutes in advance, 15 minutes in advance, and at the time of the curfew. In downtown Indianapolis, Michael Van Skoik, Fox 59 News. It is a prank no one in the Cypress area finds funny. Kids kicking on the front doors of homes and then running away. Yeah, tonight a warning for homeowners and a message to parents. Zivan Roming is live in the Cyprus area with our top story oh, tonight. That's about a crib. Well, Mia and Lynn, people in this neighborhood are asking for more accountability from parents, specifically when it comes to a trend on TikTok playing out in this neighborhood. For people living in the villages of Cypress Lakes neighborhood in Cyprus, many are calling for an end to what they say is startling nonsense. Teens and preteens um, playing 
pranks that they think that are Look at that nappy ass hair, man. He's some nappy headed bros, man. Yeah, that's about it. So uh, in Cyprus, playing. they got a little hood area. Pranks, but they think that which are is like innocent, spring Cyprus, but and that's where them kids are from. Turn the wrong way very quickly. Security cameras from this neighbor's home who didn't want to be identified for safety reasons, capturing the moment a young man could be seen kicking the door several times before running away. It sounded like the SWAT team was going to break down my door. It was loud. Um, and so, you know, of course, hearing that, our first idea, our, our first, um, the first thing that came to mind was protection. And she's not alone. Another neighbor taking to a social media neighborhood group stating the same kids were caught around 2 a.m. throwing a brick at their house and taking off on four wheelers. Times are very, very different. And these are now. privileged black you know, kids. A lot of Where this is that? This is privileged black kids. They live in a nice, like, Four hundred k dollar, um, thousand dollar homes, everything. I know exactly. Like on my neighborhood app, this is what pops up for me. So yeah, these are number rich ass black kids. Parents be NBA players, basketball, um, football players, all of that. Mm. Wow. Um. Yeah, listen, there's no solution. Once black kids become teens, um. The mischief is this that's within them, the the culture as well. You know what I mean? Their predatory nature. Cause Facts. you know, like we're 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 basically like predators at that age. So like our predatory nature kicks in because what does predator love more than easy prey? And when you live in when you have a, a affluent neighborhood, that's a lot of easy prey. Yeah, this is a real good neighborhood so too, many man. Things, Crazy. Um, are so many criminal activities are happening within our community. We were here in this neighborhood back in January when a neighbor took matters into his own hands, pulling a rifle on a group of would-be thieves trying to break into cars. Uh, Neighbors now urging parents to talk to their kids about their actions, knowing lives are depending on it. I totally understand during that age group, it's it's a very hard and confusing time for them, which is why they need a lot of guidance from their parents. <laughs> but hey, I'll, I will take this over killing, though. I'll take this over killing any day. Nah, this going to lead. This, this, this is I... gateway. <laughs> Kids that do this stuff, they once they start committing crimes like this, they escalate. They always escalate. This is, this is, this is, hold on, hold on, slow. This is not, this is not like, um, something, not kicking somebody's door, throwing a brick at somebody's door and running. It, it, it leads to being another thrill. You need something else to, um, a, a bigger thrill. Get that higher you need high. more adrenaline rush. You need more. Um, status because yeah, you get status with your little crew, like yeah, man, he threw the brick. That's you, you can tell that story a thousand times while y'all in your little friend group keep relaying the story and making it, you know, better and better each time. But after a while, you're gonna need something more. And these kids are probably gonna go to breaking in the homes or robbing people or breaking into cars, and they're gonna escalate and escalate and escalate. And um, so these crimes are not little crimes man um yes yeah, like a gateway drug you ain't lying you ain't lying now we did reach out to the harris county constable precincts four office and they are encouraging residents in this area to report any sort of suspicious activity live in cyprus devon roming khou 11 news Certainly scary for homeowners and risky business for those preteens and teenagers. Let's hope they stop soon. Devon Roming tonight, thank you. Man, First at six, one man, man is in custody off. after Memphis police say he crashed his car.